Hey, what's up guys? If you click this video, you're probably interested in learning how to use Firebase. I'm going to do a video series on Firebase and some of the main ways that you can integrate it into your Android application. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to get Firebase into your app and how to get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to firebase.google.com and, uh, well, I guess you could start by making a project. I just made a project named Firebase Setup. It's just a blank activity. Then we can go to firebase.google.com, click on Get Started for Free. Basically, I'm just going to follow the instructions here to show you just how great their documentation is and how easy it is to get started with Firebase. Once that's loaded, we'll go to Create New Project, and I'm going to name it the same thing as my Android application. So Firebase Setup, and choose my country, Create Project. Okay, now that it created the project, I can go to Add Firebase to my Android app, and i got to get the package name here. I typed it, but it's probably safe just to copy it from here. I'll just copy it to show you. Copy that. Throw it in there. And this SH1 uh, certificate is for security. I'm not actually sure what level of security it adds, but more security is better. So let's just add it. So we go to your app, go to Gradle, refresh this, click on App and Android and Signing Report. Just double click that. And you can see down here it spits out an SH1 key. So we can grab that and paste it in there and add app. Next, we need to get this Google Services JSON file and paste it into our app folder. So first go to project and get the app folder exposed. Then grab this JSON file. I'm just going to drag it in. Can we name it here? The important thing I've, I've added it a few times and for some reason this API key was missing. So if you have problems compiling after, check to see if that API key is there. If it's not there, just generate a new generate a new JSON file and add it again. So now that that's done, we can close that and let's go back to Firebase and follow the instructions. So just hit continue. So now we're going to add this dependency link to the project folder, the project gradle folder, so this one right here, stick it right there, close that, and go back, and what else do we need? We need to get this plugin, we're going to put this in the app gradle folder, and goes down to the bottom, and sync, we can close this too. Okay, once that's done, let's go back to the instructions, hit finish, and you're done. So that's adding Firebase to your application. Now, if we want to use any of the features that Firebase has, we can go to Tools, click on Firebase, and on the right-hand side here, we have outlines of how to add anything you want to your app. So you want analytics, messaging, authentication, so this is like login and register stuff, which I'm going to do a video on that next. Real-time database, so it's not, I mean, it, I mean, it's comparable to like an SQL database, but it's a different database structure. Images, remote config, and so on. I'm going to stop this video here because I just wanted to go over getting Firebase into your application and getting started so I can reference this video in my videos going forward. So if you want to learn more about Firebase, I'm going to do a bunch of videos on them, probably starting with authentication. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thanks for watching.